at what point did you come up with um, or identify this need for this new technology? During the course of uh, my studies, I was very privileged to be able to study with Professor Ugo Ripamonti at Vich University. And I realized very soon that this technology had a lot of power to change the way surgeons conduct their tissue regeneration of bone. And following my studies, I decided to become a biology entrepreneur or a bio entrepreneur. And I embarked upon an MBA course also at WITS and started a company called Altus Biologics, at which point I realized that there would be new ways to bring this product to market. And that must have been about in 2001. So how does it actually work? Tissue engineering requires the cooperation between three very important aspects. One is the cells in your body. The other one is the signaling factors that s signal to stem cells how to do the job. And the third thing are the biomaterials that you use to bring everything together. Mm. And the way it works is uh, it's an injectable implant that you inject into a bone void and it signals the stem cells in your body and the progenitor cells as we call them to migrate to the defect site and to regenerate new bone tissue. Let's just break it down in layman's terms for our viewers' sake. So if you've got a, a bone void, you've broken a bone, for example, mm -hmm. you used to have to do a hip graft Correct. and now you've got a new technology which you inject. Is that right? So just break it down for us. What is the difference between a bone graft and this new technology? Bone graft is regarded as the gold standard by which surgeons heal these very, very severe bone defects. Mm -hmm. It's a very painful procedure. It involves harvesting of bone tissue from the hip. It's quite a crude procedure because it's almost like a glorified butchery procedure. Mm. And it's invasive. Very and invasive, yes. Um, and it's very painful. Mm. It subjects the patient to a second operation. There is a high risk of an infection. And there is also the risk of late onset orthopedic complications, gait disturbance, and a lot of pain going into the future. The way this technology works, it's a bone graft substitute, and it can be manufactured from mammalian bone tissue. We typically use porcine bone from the pig, and we manufacture the two critical components, which is the collagen delivery system and the signaling factors. Uh, we synthesize them together, and that forms the basis of the product, which is the first injectable product that can go into bone voids and induce new bone formation in the patient. So why pigs? I also read about that and I thought that was quite interesting. How did you actually realize that pigs can actually help? The first consideration is it should be a slaughterhouse animal. So there has to be availability of the material. The second consideration, it has to be safe. Initially, we were considering bovine tissue from cows, but the implications of managing the BSC condition that was prevalent at the time mm. precluded us from using the bovine tissue, and instead we decided to go for a very close relative of yes, humans. which is a pig. <laughs> Can That's you what believe they say. that? Yeah. That's the most interesting <laughs> story, that a pig can actually help you heal your bones. Yes. And then how long does it take before your bone is then completely healed? It actually depends very much on the type of bone defect right. and how well the patient responds. Mm. Typically smokers might respond more slowly. Um, if you're a healthy teenager, you'll respond quite rapidly. And typically within four weeks of injection, you start to see radiographic evidence of the healing process taking place. That's amazing. So let's get to the very important part. And we talk about intellectual property. How did you go about protecting this technology? Intellectual property is absolutely critical. It's management in the success of your new biotechnology venture. I'm proud to say that Altus Biologics is a member of the Endeavor organization, an organization which fosters and helps young, high growth ventures to succeed with their businesses. And what we've learned through this interaction is that intellectual property is a very valuable asset which you can actually trade to uh, potential investors right. and which grants you exclusivity. So you have to manage it carefully and you need to file as quickly as possible patents for something that has to be novel and not obvious to be able to succeed in your new venture. 
How has this been received, um, both locally and internationally? I'm really, really excited that in South Africa, we conducted clinical studies from human tissue origin product via tissue bank at the China University of Technology and Bone SA. And this product has gone to market since 2004 and it's been very well received in South Africa and there's a high demand to treat patients with this product. Overseas, we were busy with a very exciting deal in the US until recently, but unfortunately that deal didn't happen and we believe maybe the financial crisis prevented some investors taking high risk right. type of decisions. Right. And in addition to that, there is a credibility issue we have being in Africa and developing high technology. And we need to overcome that credibility issue and that has to be managed. That is a big issue. And what do you think we can do as South Africans and, and Africans mm. to overcome that? It, there are two ways. One, we need to build credibility internally mm. by producing high level research and publishing as much as possible. But secondly, I believe that investors like to invest within their own territories. Right. So my advice to young entrepreneurs is file a PCT, then file in countries in which it is highly, uh, um, the possibilities are good. Right. Um, and then establish a presence in that territory. So maybe establish a USA office in a collaboration or partnership or incubation for situation. And that way you will tremendously increase your chances to with a granted patent in a foreign location to be able to succeed with your venture.